hello. <clears throat> welcome, welcome. Uh, it's it's another day. Uh, oh my gosh, I didn't even. Oh, it's fine. <laughs> I uh, I did not yet actually open my capture software, so I guess that means you. Yeah, you know, maybe, maybe we'll just leave it that way. Maybe we'll just stream like this today. Yeah, that doesn't look terrible. All right, give me give me one second here. We gotta. Whoa, whoa. Oh, it's doing the thing. It, the drawing thing. Alright, anyway, we gotta... We gotta open this software here. Uh... Eh? Hey, there it is on the computer. And so then... There it is on stream. Alright. Alright, we are good to go. So, let's get all this set up here. <laughs> and get going. Uh, touch the picture. I don't want to. I want to. <laughs> we want to go play the game. All right, adventure. So uh, we got seventy-five stars last time, and today, okie dokie. Today, let's get moving on further. Yeah. So we got before we got all the stars. Or, we got 75 stars. We unlocked Luigi and Mario. But, uh, we did not unlock Wario. Um, but the last thing that we did was get access to the top floor. Or, well, this floor. That's not the top floor yet, but, you know, the, the, the upstairs. Now, as far as where Wario is, you know, I had my suspicions with, like, Hazy Maze Cave. But, ooh, yeah. But, uh, I'm not really sure because, I don't know, we, we ran around there, we looked around for a while. I think the best next thing to do is going to be to just move on and maybe we'll, maybe we'll happen upon it later. Look how weird it looks that Mario, like, his whole body seems to turn when you do the thing. Okay, um, real quick too though, there's apparently these, like, bunnies that we're supposed to catch. There's more bunnies in this one than in the previous. So maybe that's worth a star or two. Let's see if we can find any. Here's one. Oh, I- Oh! <laughs> Ooh, he bamboozled me. I thought we were gonna have to go the other way. Or I thought he was gonna run the other way. <gasps> There's another one right here, and the draw distance on it was bad. Let's go. Wait, this wasn't the rabbit that we- that we just failed to catch, is it? It's running all the hell over the place. Dude. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Horrible rabbit grabber. Oh. Wait, so we already got this one? Okay, I've got a beef with this game right now, which is that when you... When you catch a rabbit, make it go away. Why... Why have the rabbit stick around just so that you can catch it and be- Just so that you can be confused as to which rabbits you've caught and then catch one multiple times and be annoyed that it doesn't go away. Why make it so that every time the player sees a rabbit, they're not- They can't be sure whether they've grabbed that one. I mean, maybe they can be sure if, like, one doesn't spawn <laughs> in the same spot ever. Hey, Adrian. Oh, sick and in bed. Well, I hope... I hope you get better soon, and thank you for the... for the bits. What I was saying is... You can be... You could say, like, oh, you can be sure of which rabbits you've already caught... By, you know, which ones you remember catching. But as original Mario 64 taught us, with the only rabbits in that game, uh, two rabbits can spawn in the same place. You know, you can catch a rabbit, and then when you see it again later, you catch it again. That's how it worked in the original game. So, it's not unreasonable to see a rabbit in this one and say, I remember catching that rabbit, however, I'm not sure if that's the same rabbit. 
Which gets me back to my original point, which is also what the original game does, I think. Once you catch the rabbit, make it go away. Why would it be any other way? All right, so we got this one. I don't remember how many rabbits there are total. Maybe, maybe it'll tell me each time that we collect one. Nope, okay. I don't remember there being a bob -omb Battlefield painting in this room in the original game. Uh-huh. Okay, we gotta talk to these toads because I don't remember. I don't remember which ones have uh, stars. Actually, I think I'm pretty sure it's this one. In the room with the mirrors, look carefully for anything that's not reflected in the mirror. You'll also find a friend in that room who's seen the invisible man. What? <laughs> hey, he is one of the. Star Toads, all right. Okay, it, it was... I'm thoroughly confused. It was a bad idea to talk to the Toad. Anyway, let's pop in here. Ah, Tiny Huge Island. Right. So then this other one... The, okay, I, I did want to head over to this room with the uh, with the mirror in it because of course there's this aha see look at that okay hang on a second okay they also I had slight suspicions that this room would have Wario in it and if you take a look who is T posing Wario or Luigi if you take a look, we've got the Wario painting here. Oh, but that's not how you get in, huh? Perhaps there's more to it. Okay, the toad said something about the invisible man now. Oh, wait a second. Do we have to be Luigi? And then maybe jump in there when we have an invisible cap that we need to find in the... Don't tell me what to do, Jam. Don't, don't, don't tell me what to do! That makes it lame and boring. Why, why, why ever would that make the game more fun? To just be told what to do. Okay, in the room with the mirrors, look carefully. Yep, yeah, that was the thing. When you get... When you go to the water town... Okay, yeah, we, we know about that. Alright, anyway. We're gonna go be Luigi. And we are going to, uh... Find out the rest of this puzzle. Oh, yeah. Well, there's a blind command. This isn't necessarily a blind run, but the blind rules do apply to everything because it just makes games... It makes the stream and the game more fun. Um, hey, there it is. Uh, okay. So let's get back to Luigi. Do -do -do -do. I thought about making an entire YouTube video about it, though, as, like, something that large streamers or whoever wants to can, like, link to or share around that explains exactly why so many streamers have that as a rule and exactly why backseating makes games less fun. There's a green rabbit now? But I have a lot of plans for things that I don't get around to. Okay, so there are different rabbits for different... Um, 
different rabbits for different characters, huh? There's so much about this game that I just, like, so much don't remember. Okay, so now we are Luigi, but I still doubt this will work. Yeah. Because what we need to do is... Oh, there's a flower here! Oh, well that's that just makes it easy, okay. So then we jump in here. Easy enough. Oh no, we go into the mirror, perhaps? <gasps> oh, cool! Okay, that's a little bit neater than what I was thinking. Alright, there we go. Alright, so we are here in the Wario Unlock level. We've got some bullies. What? Wait, oh, he did fall. Okay, hang on. Let's get rid of these guys. I can't handle them being around. Alright. Oh yeah, bullies are pretty easy once you've learned the the hold A trick. Uh, which in this game is the hold B trick. Why is the camera like looking down so far? You only have left right camera movement in this game. And it seems Whoa! It seems like this level is pointing the camera down a little bit further. Oh, don't make me do the whole thing again. Just tell me I can just jump back in. Oh my gosh, all right. <laughs> I mean, I guess we theoretically only have to go into this level one time total. So it's a little different than if a whole level was done this way. <laughs> Okay, we don't need to worry about these bullies. Alright, what is this? What do you got for me? Invisibility, like usual? Is that gonna help with, like, this? No? Whoa, it doesn't save your lives. I've only got two lives. It's pretty silly to... to have the life system in the game, but then not... not save how many you have. I mean, it doesn't... they don't matter at all. If you run out of lives in Mario 64, at least on the N64, you just get sent back to the title screen. Uh, wait, uh, you know. At which point you just load your last file. Where you have all your stars still. And the only downside is, um... You just have to run back to the level. Alright, what's up, buddy? Get cabo, get cabo, good. Those bullies as well, I just don't think it's going to be necessary. Okay, so if this is just going to be like a fun platforming level, I'm, I'm super into that. I guess we can be Mario, but I'm not exactly sure why we want to be yet. Wait a second... What's this? That looks like something I need to be Mario for. I mean, did I say Mario? Because I meant Luigi. Alright, we got Shevin. Yeah. 
Hang on now. There's one more red coin. Also, what the heck is this? <laughs> Just a big hole in the ground. And on the, uh, on the map, it's a big red X. That doesn't seem very inviting. Maybe I missed a red coin, like, right away. Or, you know what? It's not like it was particularly difficult to get here. What am I really afraid of with the big red X in the hole? Well, yeah, I, I mean, it looks like we're doing fine here. <laughs> you there with the mustache. I'm the king of cold, Chief Chili. I lock up anyone who challenges the superiority of my stash. In fact, I locked... <clears throat> oh, mm. Hang on a moment. Let's really let this rip. In fact... I locked up one such fellow just the other day! Hmm. What a sad, mangy mustache you've got there. It hardly seems worth it to destroy you. With a stash like that, you're clearly the sidekick, not the star. But I'm between meetings now. I- or bleh. But I'm between meetings now, so I might as well. In the battle for the best mustache, I'll win hands down. <laughs> Bring it on, Peach Fuzz! What a dick. This guy's gonna... Oh, we're, we're gonna kick his ass so badly. Oops. That was too late again, though. You gotta remember that you can be, like, super early on your... Oh, that was too early. Alright, there we go. Oh, my God. I'm doing the trick, and it's, it's just the worst thing ever. There we go. Oh, it's going to be something like this, huh? Oh, he's got a good stash. I I would be very happy if I had this guy's stash. And I'd be ready to defend it as well. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I didn't realize there was wobble happening. Alright, there we go. I'm surprised they put the power meter on the top screen. No way! I lost such a scrawny guy like that. Mmm. Did I not groom my mustache well enough? I must hurry home and condition it. Farewell! Alright, we did it. I have a feeling that... You might... Wait, no, you can't get into that level as Wario. Okay. Well, let's get back in there and get those red coins. Whoops. Alright, it's not something stupid like right there, is it? Nope. Okay. Okay, what does this sign say? High wind warning. Alright, alright, yep. So it's like we're supposed to be Wario there.
<laughs> Super Wario 64. I mean, we're about to get there. We gotta get back to... We gotta get back to Hazy Maze Cave with Wario and play some Super Wario 64. There was that game on GameCube, Wario World. Right? That's what it was called? I didn't play it. I, You know, I haven't really played the Wario games. I played the original Wario Land, which was Super Mario Land 3. Uh, I had that as a kid on Game Boy and played a lot of it. But I never played uh, Wario... Well, I, I never played this. There was a second Wario Land, wasn't there? Um, and a third and a fourth? I never played any of them. Nor that game on the Gaman Kuban. Okay. So once again, we are here missing a red coin. I'm not sure how the draw distance is on red coins. Like in the original game, the draw dis- Oh! Oh no, that was a regular coin. The draw distance in the regular game on red coins was like far greater than for other objects. No, I've never played a WarioWare game. I, I used to think they looked dumb, but now I think they are probably great. Yeah. Alright, pink guy. Hit me. Oh. What a surprise. It's in the large chunk of the map that I haven't been to yet. Wait a second. That's not the actual, like, boss arena, is it? Wind gusts make a comfy ride? Right, because we can just, like, bust up here again. Okay, there's Wario stuff over there. But yeah, I don't think any of this is intended to get me up there. Okay. I did not pay attention to where the boss fight was on the map. And it might have just been there. Like, I know you may be asking, but why? Why would jumping down that black pit teleport me over to that other place on the map? Mm. It's a Mario level, dude. Or maybe I'm supposed to become Mario to fly over there. That seems much more likely to me. Okay, that's what it is. We're gonna become Mario and fly over there. Because the reason that going to the boss... There's two reasons that the boss arena doesn't make sense to me as where the last red coin would be. The first reason is that it's a boss arena. I go there, I fight a boss, and then the level essentially ends. The second reason is that after I get this eighth red coin, I need to be able to collect the star. Which requires me to still be able to be here. Oh, I was thinking about wing cap, but nah, this makes just as much sense. <laughs> I love this power up so much. All right, there we go. Like, it's such a good new version of what was in Super Mario World. I always kind of didn't like it in Super Mario World just because it's, like, so slow. And in this, it's still just as slow, but for some reason, it's great. Hi. 
We've done it! Alright. Alright, so let's... Uh, what are... Where are we at here? Good, good, good. Jolly Roger Bay. Yeah, that kind of makes sense that I would need Wario there, because he turned... I think he's the one who turns into metal in this one. Alright, here we go. Busting out Wario. <laughs> All right, and there we go. Yeah. Adrian, how far have you gotten in Travis Strikes Again? I'm curious. Oh, you still haven't played it. Okay. Maybe I'll just keep my opinions to myself then and allow you to just get to it when you can. Collector's edition. I didn't know there was one. I got the like I got the physical Switch release of it that comes with the season pass. But uh, I didn't realize that there was anything more than that. Wait a second. I'm not going this way. And pow! Yeah! So one thing I really like that this one does that the N64 one doesn't is, um... You can actually move forward while you're falling. While you're metal whoever and you're falling down. Hey, Moraine! A limited edition order by a French site. Oh, okay. Huh. All right, all right. So, Cool Cool Mountain also had something for us. Right. There was a Switch Star, I think it was, that looked like I needed to be able to, like, ground pound through some ice or something like that, which might also require someone who's pretty metal. Oh. Tried to just do a continuous long jump there and didn't happen. Oh, that time it worked, so I just screwed up is all. All right. <clears throat> so, first of all, is it just Wario is all we need? It's just Wario is all we need. And then I think the Switch itself, if I remember right, yeah, it's just up here where the the bob -omb buddy is, um, is, uh, is standing. Oh! Oh no! I didn't. I pretty you are nothing to me. Ah! I'm pretty sure I did that exact same thing every single time as Mario. It just didn't kill me ever. Voogie with a gifted sub. What is? What's that all about? Hello. Thank you, Voogie, for uh, for the generosity. And Zenpai, hello and welcome. <laughs> okay, every single time I jump off this thing, I screw it up. It just didn't punish me as as brutally with Mario. Are, are you serious? Oh! I had already given up. Not having alerts for subs? What are you, what are you talking about? 
That's a, wasn't that exactly what that was? It almost scared me a little bit, the alert was so loud. All right, I'm gonna ground pound that at the end. Okay, and seriously, how do I not die here? I guess we backflip, that's probably the best idea. Oh, that was beautiful, okay. No, don't, okay. I was gonna say, it's gonna screw up my groove to show it to me. Oh, Wario, you fat fuck. Okay, I'm sorry I swore, I didn't mean to. Mm. <laughs> yeah. I'm I I'm working I'm thinking about a way to improve the 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 sub alert though. It might just be going back to the old sub alert because that was the only good idea I ever had. My only problem with the old sub alerts is that they get all of my YouTube videos copyright claimed. Uh, do, do, do. right. But, uh, you know, it might happen. What? What is this logo that's here? Do you see down here where the arrow is pointing to? Doesn't that look a lot like the GameCube logo? Except it's just, it's it's not made into a G though, so that's weird. Ilias, I'm a little offended that you that you would think after all this time that I have no sub alerts. <laughs> There's a giant fox up there pressing down B. Oh yeah, cuz it looks like it looks like the uh I get it. I get it. Wait, what's this one? Switch star in the basement? Right. That's this place. Oh jeez. Okay. So if I remember right, there will be some black bricks down here that we need to stomp that I imagine is a Wario requirement. This is what I've been guessing the whole time. Yeah. By the way, every time I say the phrase, remember right, even though the word right is... A, a different form of it in each one. It's oh, okay. Now do I have to switch to Mario because Mario is too slow? Anyway, when I say remember right, um, I'm using the word right incorrectly because I'm supposed to be saying remember correctly. But beside that point, it reminds me of. The first time that you meet Travis Bell in Killer7, and if you're listening closely, you and you can hear like the the actual original like, well the voiced English, and by voiced I mean I'm pretty sure it's computer generated for those guys. But anyway, the point is, he says, "You remember right, don't you?" And I think about it every single time. It's just one of the many many yeah. things. You know when you have a certain word or phrase where once you've seen a certain movie or played a certain game that has that phrase in it, that is what you hear every time that you hear that phrase. You guys know what I'm talking about. But yeah, I as far as those voices in Killer7 go, it wasn't until... I heard the Japanese version, where where they're less distorted, that I realized that those voices are totally computer generated. So it makes way more sense 
that the that their wording is so off and English, as people say, because they didn't need somebody who spoke English to read it out loud because anybody who spoke English would be like, this is nonsense. You know, they'd have to have an English voice director and all that kind of stuff for those lines. Who would know that it was, who would realize it was nonsense, right? And, and, and that kind of dialogue wouldn't have made it into the game. But if it's just going to be computer generated, then it never goes through that check. Well, we just game over. I tried to get a life. Right on this dick. And that, you know, that's also what makes it make so much sense that some of the game's voices would be trans or would be done in English well, you know? Someone said that the reason for the English was because they used Japanese voice actors and you questioned reality briefly. <laughs> Yeah, I just never really knew what the deal was. But the the answer that those voices are computer generated and then the the normal good well-written non-distorted English voices are actual voices. It just makes sense. It's like what I should have assumed in the first place. I guess I, I just think of digital voices, though, as, like, pretty advanced technology. Even though it isn't necessarily, but it kind of is. But, I mean, we've got Hatsune Miku nowadays, so... You know. They're getting pretty good at it. And there we go. Okay, are we once again going to need to go get Mario? Yes. Or do we do this? Do you guys think this is going to work? <laughs> this is not going to work, even a little bit. <laughs> Yes, Ilias, forget what I said. Hatsune Miku is real, and she is your friend. Woo and so is Monica. Oh, um, <clears throat> well, uh, Miku's, the gorillas is one person. Well, he probably, he probably has guest musicians. Um, but, uh, so Miku's voice is based on a real person. But as far as, like, when something's featuring Hatsune Miku, and it's the Miku voice, that's all. That's the software. But then occasionally, if they're doing like a press thing, and they need Miku to just say something, I think they would use, um, they would use the actress who Miku's voice is based on. I th I think they would have her say stuff. But I'm not super positive. All right, so here's how we're going to do this. We're going to grab wing hat. Going to hit this.
Yeah. Oh yeah, it's a little disturbing. I'll try to minimize my time in in that in that configuration. Mm-hmm. Here we go. Alright, so pyramid puzzle. Was this also gonna be a Wario thing? Crazy. Look at all these hats they give you. They know how difficult it is to move around as Wario. <laughs> Whoops. Gosh, it's so much harder to make this jump in this one. <coughs> Excuse me. Why was there just one, though? Who the hell sneezes one time? I know. Just take me out back and shoot me. Also, real talk, how the hell do you... And by real talk, I don't mean I want an answer to this, but... How the hell... Do you take off the cap? Like, I'm Mario right now? How do I go back to, wa go back to Wario without intentionally taking damage? You know, like getting rid of your power up in Kirby. Okay, why why did I think I needed to be Wario here? Pyramid puzzle. Oh, I don't need to be Wario here. I just need to be on this specific star, which required me to get the previous star, which which did require Wario. All right, that makes more sense. How do you guys feel about games where when you're hanging on a ceiling, you have to hold down the button to maintain your hanging? Or would you rather that the character, when you jumped into a hangable ceiling, they stuck to it until you press the button to release? I like the latter. Ooh! This game is a, is a hold to maintain game. But I think I'd like it a little bit more if it was a uh, if it was a sticky press to dismount game. You know, I'm just saying, Nintendo. It's something to consider for when you for for when you remake this game. Whoa! You can just jump up here. That's cool. Darn, I thought maybe, uh, I could get up there. Man, look at that trick. Eventually I'm gonna have this whole speed run routed and I'm gonna get the world record. Using a bunch of fancy tech that no one ever thought of. Check out this tech. I'm gonna dismount before I even get to the edge because Mario's forward momentum is gonna land him uh, on the platform. This guy, boom, jump off the top of him. Ooh. 
Ooh. You know, it took a little... Uh, you, you may have noticed, you may have been questioning me for a moment there. Because it took a little bit of time to set that jump up. But, oh, it was beautiful when it happened. Yeah, I feel like I I would prefer I would prefer the sticky grab in Okay, I guess the time where I wouldn't prefer sticky grab would be in a game where like I want the option to be able to just like for some reason maybe it would be faster or more fun to uh to jump up and just bump it, you know, and not grab onto the ceiling for whatever reason. You need to jump under it and head bonk on it without grabbing it. Even so, you just time your hit to just dismount as soon as possible. Maybe that would that would probably lose your momentum though. I could I could see that being a problem. I just showered earlier, so I, uh... My hair feels weird. Uh, okay. Alright, and Dire Dire Docks is next. And let's go back to Mario. For the Docks. Prefer... Hey, Flex! prefer if you weren't able to not grab on the fences in the background in Mario games. Oh, well that's totally different cuz that's not a hanging ceiling. And that's a that's a 2D game and I am specifically talking about 3D. However, we can talk about uh uh we can talk about Mario World. I mean, I feel like the way that it's implemented in Mario World is more similar to what I'm describing I would like. In the sense that, in Mario World, because it's a 2D game, all they had to do was make it so that there's a button press that initiates grabbing onto the hangable or climbable wall or ceiling. Um, but, it's only a button press to initiate it. Then the Mario is on the climbable fence until you press a button that dismounts it. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, it is a tiny bit different in a 2D game, but that's that they... It's, it's not that you have to hold a button like the other option is. It's just that you have to press a button for the initiation. <laughs> Through the jet stream, that sounds like a Wario level. Oh, but there's a Wario cap. Okay, we're good. Also, what the hell are those? Indeed, it would be weird. Because, yeah, they couldn't have it be the jump button, because that would that would be crazy. Then it would be... That would make it the way that, like, you were originally describing as being bad, which I agree with, which is that you would try to jump past a fence and just stick to it. Flex, the discussion is, in a game like Mario 64 or Crash Bandicoot, do you prefer 
when you have to hold a button to maintain your hanging on a climbable ceiling? Or would you prefer it if hitting that climbable ceiling sticks you to it, and then you have to press a button to dismount? All right, Adrian, if you didn't like, if you, um, if you didn't like Mario with Wario's voice, maybe you'll prefer Wario with Mario's voice. Hey, Yulu. The whole purple name crowd is here. Actually, where's Azure Foxy? We need Azure Foxy here. Then the whole purple name crowd will be here. Indeed, purple is a good color. Like, my favorite color is black. But if you're gonna press me and say, black's not a color, then purple is my favorite color. I think I also have a fancy purple. It's kind of like a wine color. Maybe I should change it. Up against your guys' purples, it doesn't look as good. It looked good on the Twitch Prime page. But now directly compared to you guys, I don't I, I don't think it looks as good. Do, 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 do. Wait a second. I'm not positive what I'm doing right now, but we'll figure it out. Because this jet stream sucks you in. And I don't necessarily want to be a part of that. So I think we do have to go back through here. This song is definitely a top 10 video game songs for me. It's just so good. It might even be like top three. This star might just be rings and have nothing to do with Wario. Oh, but now we do need to to metal cap it up. Okay. All right. Good, good, good. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, what what Mario song can I think of that, or I, not Mario, what video game song can I even think of that I like more than this one?
Koopa Surf and Switch Star. Huh. Oh, yeah, the Mario 64 credits theme is very good. Is this where the Koopa Shell is? So. Okay, I think I get it. Wait a second. No, that one's. Or is that specifically the character selection theme? Oh. The Mario 2 title screen is like. And that's another different song. Right, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. The 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 song like athletic or or whatever they always call it in Mario 2. I might like that song more, you're right. Yeah, that oof, that's a good one. <laughs> that's probably also top three. Oh yeah, the Bowser theme in Yoshi's Island is really good. It's just like super metal. I'd also say, so, I've said before that my favorite song in Final Fantasy VII is, um, look how slow Wario swims. God. I've said before that my favorite song in Final Fantasy VII is Kate Sith's theme, but man, Last night, Scapuni played Eris's theme on piano, and it, I was like, I was ready to tear up. It's just, it's such a beautiful song. I like that my icon on the map is actually just totally Mario wearing Wario's cap. <laughs> All right, I don't really know what I'm supposed what to do with this uh, thing yet, but we'll figure it out. Hey, Starman, your first Final Fantasy was eight. Interesting. Yeah, my first Final Fantasy was 7, and then it was Tactics uh, after that. And then it was Final Fantasy 1, but the Game Boy Advance version. And that was about it. That was that was all I played for a long time. Look at how Wario shell surfs. This is great. <laughs> He's like facing forward, like Bart Simpson on his skateboard in the original intro to The Simpsons. Did you guys ever notice that? That w in in The Simpsons intro, when Bart skateboards out of the school, 
He's like got both his feet planted parallel looking forward on the skateboard. It looks ridiculous. Uh, I'm really excited to play Final Fantasy VIII coming up here. I think my next RPG I'm going to play is going to be Megami Tensei II, though. Megami Tensei 1 was so sweet. And that's going to be pretty soon, too, because I just finished, uh... I just finished Pokemon Let's Go. So pretty soon I'll be able to start a new RPG. And I want it to be Megami Tensei 2. New PC will be here Tuesday. Wow! Well, that's exciting. That's hella exciting. Alright. Last star before we gotta do the hundred coin. People are always confused by the mechanics of this part, it seems like. It's pretty simple. If you miss a ring, and then you go around to the next ring and you get it, that ring is incorrect. The game has not yet thought about the fact that you uh, that you missed a ring. It doesn't realize that you missed a ring until you grab the next one. At which point it's like, that's not the next ring. That ring doesn't count. Fairy Fencer F? Oh, I've heard of that. All I know about it is that it's made by... Idea Factory, right? Oh, yeah? Hmm. Maybe I should learn to speedrun this game. Do Digital Devil Saga. Uh, I just played Digital Devil Saga 2, like, a couple years ago. I played Digital Devil Saga 1, like, ten years ago. And then I played the second one, like, a couple years ago. And it was awesome. Uh, my first Shin Megami Tensei was Persona 3. Because Johnny Torso kept telling me to play it. And I was like, alright, alright, I'll look it up. And then it was like high school kids shooting themselves in the heads to summon demons. And I was like, okay, I gotta play this. And then I found out later... Uh, well, okay, that was the thing. And then I was really, I was really enjoying, uh, Persona 3. And he kept telling me, oh, just wait till you play Persona 4, it's even better. He kept saying. 
And then I played Persona 4. What? The coins sink? And then I played Persona 4 and beat it. And when I went back to talk to him about it, I found out he never beat Persona 4. I doubt he ever did. Even now, I'm saying. Man, it seems like they've added a lot of coins to this level in this version. Just like, look at all these dudes up here to give coins. Beautiful. But yeah, so the next Megami Tensei I'm going to play is just Megami Tensei 2. Um... It'd be neat to play Devil Summoner at some point on stream, cause like I feel like I feel like Devil Summoner is the one that no one has played. Like a lot of people have played Persona. Some people, you know, a decent amount of people have played like Nocturne. Some people have played Digital Devil Saga. I feel like nobody has played Devil Summoner. I played the original one a tiny bit, but I need to I need to play it more. You've played Devil Summoner, Starman? Really? I have both of them. Yeah, yeah. I've got the the Hello Retro Dino Disco. Thank you. Um why did I just look up here? I meant over here. I've got- er, oh, it's because it's up there. I've got the the collector's uh, Devil Summoner 2 that comes with the little, um, that comes with the little Jack in his, like, conductor uniform. That's pretty cute. But I haven't opened it yet because, uh... Yeah, I haven't opened it yet because I haven't finished Devil Summoner 1 yet. However, it's not exactly sealed really anymore because it's like the plastic is basically broken. It fell off a shelf at one point, so it's kind of broken open. Mario's going pretty well. We we unlocked Wario. So that was a big deal. Yo, the suckage from this thing is significantly less than in the original. It's not even sucking me. Look at this. You can just hang out here. In the, uh, in the original Mario 64, if you sit next to that channel, I don't know what the hell you would call that thing, it just, it, it sucks you right out into the main world. And when you have 76 coins, it's like, zoinks, mulligan, fuck. <laughs> but yeah, uh, Dire Dire Docks, th this is, this is one of the toughest, uh, well, I wouldn't say toughest, it's one of the most time-consuming, uh, hundred coin stars in the game. 
But they made it quite a bit easier in this one, it seems like, because there were like a bunch of ways to get coins at the beginning. But now I'm here, where there's basically only the red coins left, and I'm wondering where all the coins are at. SMT3, Strange Journey, Soul Hacker for 3DS. LV and IV, IV and IVA. What's IV and IVA? Devil Survivor and Digital Devil Saga 1 and 2. I don't know what IV and IVA are. Oh, camera. Oh, oh, SMT4 and SMT4 Apocalypse. Okay. Then yes, I own all those same games. Because <laughs> I'm crazy and so I own... As far as I know... Unless there's been a recent release, I own every North American release of any Shin Megami Tensei game. So, I also have Persona, or uh, Revelations Persona for the PS1, Persona 2 Eternal Punishment for PS1, Persona 3 and 4 for PS2, as well as Persona 1, 2 Innocent Sin, and 3 for PSP. Persona 4 The Golden on Vita. Persona 5 on PS4. Uh, I feel like there's maybe something that I missed. I have Devil Survivor- Oh! Devil Survivor 2. So I have Devil Survivor 2. Uh, I have Devil Survivor on DS and 3DS, as well as Dev Devil Survivor 2 on DS and 3DS. So yeah. I'm a crazy person. Oh, he just got it. Is there anything that we missed? Oh, Persona Q. You know what I don't have, actually, is Strange Journey uh, Redux. I don't have that yet. That's like the latest release that I know of. Oh yeah, Megami Tensei is, whoo, it's something else. Okay. <laughs> uh, where are we going now? Next level, which is not Dire Dire Docks. Up here. Yeah, in fact, I put a picture on Discord at one point. Oh man, it's gonna be like so far back though. You know, I, I kinda wish that um Discord had something similar to what uh, what Twitter has, where you can go down to just somebody's media posts. Like, you can go to somebody's page and have it only show the pictures that they've posted. That would be useful. But now we're committed and I'm finding it. You can... Get out of here with your lies. Okay, I gotta be getting close to it now. What the hell was that? Okay. Ba, 
Okay, I, I really thought that I was close to it. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> oh, thank you. I didn't use shampoo today. I showered and and I I just felt like uh standing there in the water instead of okay, hang on. No, I never played Advance Wars. I played a tiny bit of Fire Emblem on the um Game Boy Advance, which is like kind of similar. I found it. Oh my God, I found it. There you go. Jeez. That was a while ago. I think it would have been, uh, I think it probably would have been faster for me to just find the picture on my phone and re-upload it. But, uh, yeah. I, I've, is there anything not pictured in here? Um, I have Persona 4 dancing on Vita digitally, so I guess that's not on here. Oh, and then the the Super Nintendo cartridge on the top left is a is a bootleg because that's a actu that's actually a Super Famicom game, but I got an English version of it on a Super Nintendo cartridge. Anyway, anyway, basically, I played Persona Three and it and it made me a crazy person. So that's what happened there. Uh, Tall Tall Mountain, let's go. Course 12? Which one's Course 10? That's the one that we're after, right? Yes. When they say hair looks silky versus oily, you kind of think a cheetah's no shampoo. Yeah, I don't necessarily want my hair to have that look because it does kind of look it does kind of look like you just haven't showered. But it's also kind of fine, I don't know. I'm not really sure about any of this stuff. Like if it's better for your I've heard it's better for your hair to well, okay. I've heard that it is better for your hair to only shampoo it every other day instead of like every day or every time that you shower and I think though that that might be coming from a place that's assuming that you're going to be using shampoo instead of something that would say you know what I mean like the information might actually just be that shampooing your hair at all is bad and the best thing for your hair is to not shampoo it that might be the case the context in which I heard this information about it being better to shampoo your hair every other day was probably coming from a place that assumes that you will be shampooing it with some frequency. But maybe not, I'm just saying. Wait, what? Uh, oh, oh, man. You know that thing where you're waiting to do something and then the moment that you try to do it, a text box appears? Yeah, I know that moment.
All right. And yeah, for sure, the bootleg uh, Megami Tensei that I have, right, it's to get it in English. Because they never released it in the U.S. The snowman's wearing my hat. The snowman is wearing my hat. This is fantastic. I couldn't figure out how to get it back. <laughs> I should get a Super Famicom uh, cartridge of the original Japanese Megami Tensei, though. Just, I don't know. To make it a little bit cooler to have the bootleg also. To also be like, check it out, here's the original as well. I don't want to set the precedent, though, that I need to own all the Japanese releases of all those games as well. Because I don't need to. <laughs> However, the Japanese version of Demi Kids is called Devil Children, which is way cooler. So, maybe it's worth owning Devil Children. And the European version, I think it's the European version of Nocturne, is called Lucifer's Call. Which is also a pretty cool name. Snowman, I need to know how to get my cat back from you. Touching it is not enough. And I've tried many times now. Is it, am I right? Shin Megami Tensei 3 Nocturne in Europe is called Lucifer's Call? I looked it up just the other day, but only became confused at the explanation. Like, also related to, to this series of games, in Persona 4, there's, um... Yeah. There's a part in Persona 4 where they ask you, like, an English question, and one of the possible answers is that is to say that, like, he, this guy, like, says some words to you and asks you what they have in common, and one of the answers is they're all Jarens or Garens. I don't know how to say it. And I was like, what the hell is a Garand or Jarend or whatever the hell it is? And I looked it up. And, and read the whole article about what these what makes a word that. <clears throat> and I was significantly more confused than when I started. So basically it's English teacher stuff. It's stuff that they would ask you on that show, How Are You Smarter Than a Fifth Grader? That fifth graders don't actually know. But maybe it's something that the, te that the teacher of a fifth grade class would bring up at some point. And the children would not learn it. Who knows, though. They're all Subway Jareds? They're all Jareds. Oh, right. <laughs> the words. How quickly I forget things that I'm talking about. Can you... I need to grab this penguin's head. Aren't you supposed to be able to, like... All right, fine. Now's our chance. I think they made that part easier, and it was confusing me. Subway Jared, we don't talk about that guy anymore. That guy's into some shit. Oh, was it... Flex? Was it my brother? I think he was saying... or may, I, I think it was him who was saying that he was in a subway while the news was breaking about, about Jared... And, uh, and it was, so he was in a subway and like on the TV in the subway was the breaking news about Jared. 
And he was like looking like at the TV and at the employees and was like, are you guys gonna, are you guys gonna turn this off? But I don't know, they don't care. They probably don't even hear the TV because it's just on all the time and they're just trying to make some fucking sandwiches. Oh! I don't know though, I don't know about the TV thing. Like, it was back and forth. So, when I worked at GameStop, there was GameStop TV, which wasn't like network television or anything that would have real news on it. It was just like, um... That's the other thing, Alias, also. Right. Those Subway employees are not invested in the well-being of Subway Corporation. You know, they don't give a shit. If everybody stopped- if everybody saw that on the TV and then walked out of the store, they'd be like, Alright. Um, but anyway. Yoshi's Ice Sculpture. I'm guessing we need to be Wario for this. <laughs> oh no! We need to be Yoshi for this! But, uh... Yeah, at GameStop there was their, like, closed circuit TV. And, um... I tried my best to tune it out. You know, like, every once in a while I would be able to tune it out, but... There were certain things, programs on it that, um, that really got, you know, that you couldn't really tune out. And then they started playing clips of the Big Bang Theory on it, and oh god, that was just, that was a whole, a whole new level of irritation. Doctors Associates Inc. is Subway. Oh, yeah, you were telling me something about that. I don't know, though. Like... I wonder what the legal workaround is there, because... I don't think it would be legal to straight up say doctors love this certain thing or doctors recommend this certain thing just because, like, your company is called doctors. Because that's, like, intentional false advertising. But the specific phrase that you're saying doctors associates, I mean, that might just not even be a real thing, you know? That might not be a real thing in the first place. I'm not saying the company name. I'm saying Doctors Associates, the job or the position or whatever, might not actually be real. Whoops. You know what I mean, where it sounds fancy, but isn't actually a real thing. Yo. Uh -oh. Doctors Associates Inc. doing business as Subway owns and operates a chain of sandwich restaurants in the United States and internationally. Yeah. 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 I'm just. It is, it, it is really funny to have your company be called Doctors Associates, Inc. And then to operate a fast food chain. Wait, why am I still Yoshi? Oh, you can start out with one of the other characters' caps on? That's interesting. That kind of makes it beneficial to always be playing as Yoshi. 
As long as you don't get hit, you're fine. Hmm. Hey, they fixed the thing! In original Mario 64, if you jump out of the water onto one of those flower heads, uh, it doesn't spring you into the air. You have to, like, specifically jump off land and land on it. Alright, well, I'm willing to do this. So, Snowman's Silver Star. And then if we go like this, we're going to be Yoshi with Mario's cap on. Look at that. Hmm. These stars look like I'm supposed to be... Uh... Shell shredding for them. So what's the deal with the red coins going to be in this stage? Whoops. But yeah... The whole trademark thing. Like how King, that company King, recently tried to trademark the word super. So no other companies could use the word super in the names of their games. I don't think that went through. And by I don't think, I mean, it didn't go through. However, they do... I, I don't know if they still have candy, but they probably do. And there is another word that they that they have trademarked as well. Mm. Yeah, you know, you'd think that the trademark system would be fine since humans need to approve it, you know? It's not like it's some automated process. But unfortunately, humans who don't understand the repercussions of things in the particular industry are the ones in charge. Um, this is kind of unrelated, but I was hearing, uh, I was listening to Jeff Gersman talking about the ESRB one day, and it was very interesting. He was talking about the process of getting a game rated by the ESRB. And apparently, the process isn't necessarily that the ESRB looks at all of the content of the game or plays the game or anything like that and makes a decision. Or like comes up with the rating and lists down the things that it has. Instead, it's like the game's creator or the publisher as it were, um, basically sends in to the ESRB, like, what they deem the quote-unquote most mature content in their game, and then also says what they think it is. Like, we think it's a teen-rated game, or we think it's an M. And then the ESRB basically just agrees or disagrees with that. They do make a decision. But it means that the, the rating that is given out is heavily influenced by... What the fuck? What the publisher has to say about it at the begin uh, from the start. Which explains a lot of stuff. I feel like that pretty well explains why Halo has an M rating. I feel like 
Halo is like the most tame M-rated game in the entire world. However, an M-rated game is a lot cooler uh, to a certain demographic than a teen-rated game is. Okay, we gotta get into this igloo. We might have to be Yoshi to do it. Oh. Was it Saga, though? Do, do, do. It keeps confusing me that this game isn't like Yoshi's Island. Where, uh... You can do the Yoshi multiple times per jump. In Yoshi's Island, you can just keep doing it. Okay, so we need to drop down onto the igloo from here, I think. Right, yeah, and if something needs to be cut, it would be, it would be their dis the ESRB's decision exactly. Oh, jeez. That reminds me of the Team America story, though. The Team America story, which so this is what I heard. I don't even remember where I heard this from, so. You never know if it's just an urban legend. Uh, but I heard that they knew that they weren't going... They, the, the, Team America has that ridiculous puppet sex scene in it. And I heard that they knew that they weren't going to be able to get that in the movie and keep an R rating. Uh, and that they were going to get back an NC-17 probably. And so, they originally cut the movie and filmed, like, a way, way more ridiculous and gratuitous sex scene with the puppets. With, like, pooping and peeing on each other and all that kind of stuff. Purposefully to make it, you know, to make it way worse. So that when... So that when it was, you know, obviously, uh, a problem with the, with the MPAA, they could say, okay, we'll just get rid of, we'll get rid of the peeing and pooping. And that way they were able to, to get the R rating with the scene that they originally wanted anyway. Who knows though? I mean, that's the story. Maybe they originally did want the scene to be super gratuitous. But it does just sound like a Matt Stone, Trey Parker thing to, to do that. If for no other reason, just to mess with the MPAA. Right, it makes sense, like, to keep doing things that, like, that, like, push it. Or, 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 to keep pushing it and pushing for things that are, like, too much. And that way they can keep getting away with more than what's normal. Okay, so this igloo is just completely different, and it has red coins in it. Weird. I guess, you know, the igloo in regular Mario 64 wasn't necessarily anything special. What is this when you're Yoshi?
Okay, you just get more fire. This room has a lot of coins in it. So we'll be back here when we need the hundo. Okay, so then there's also, we also need to get in there as Luigi. And perhaps we can get the hundred coins while we do that. So we need to go back into the igloo anyway. Oops, I forgot to start as Luigi, but that's okay. We can get the cap very easily. All right, so we're going for 100 coins then. Uh, and this is the last star of the level, <gasps> so it works out perfectly. Thirty extra stars. Uh, there is one extra star per stage, so there's fifteen right there. Uh, each stage has seven stars instead of six, on top of the hundred coin star. And then for the other fifteen, um, let's see. There's just fifteen more like castle secret stars. Like each of the Bowser stages has both the eight red coin star that it originally had, but then also, um, also a switch star where, like, you press a, it just has another star, another secondary objective in the Bowser stages. Uh, so there's three more. Um, I think each of the switch, well, so the switch levels, like the vanish cap and stuff, those levels have been replaced by the by the character unlocking stages. And those at least one that I was in had two stars in it, but I don't quite remember. So yeah. Besides there being besides half of them being one extra in each stage, they're just kind of around. I just got stuck in the ice. What? Yoshi just did the... Yoshi... Oops. That was really weird. He did the I'm stuck in the, in the snow animation, but it was ice. Whoops. Uh, okay, so what can we do with this now? Whoa! It made a square egg! What? Yeah, they could have put a new stage in the game for sure. Would that be too much though? I feel like adding the new characters, 
I mean... Adding the new characters is a pretty big deal. Because then there's stars that each character specifically can get. Which does, like, change the stages. Okay, we gotta figure out how to get into this igloo a little more easily. What? Wait a second, you can't Yoshi hum out of a... Oh, no, I'm gonna die. Help me, Jeebus. Are you fucking serious, Mario 64? Oh. Okay. <laughs> it took like 10 seconds for that emote to load in my chat, Ilias. I just saw a blank message and was just like, what? What is this gonna be once it loads? Oh my god, I'm just. Fucking sliding around so much! Okay. There we go. Ah. Okay. So we actually want to be Luigi. But this Goomba is just out of town. Goomba down here, dude. Yoshi, please. Are you serious? I want the- I need this Luigi hat and this Goomba is just fucking climbing up this mountain. And there's this precariously positioned fire for me to very easily slide into. Oh my god, this is actually a little frustrating. Okay. Let's just... Sit here for a second. Is it like a specific property of a of a Luigi cap wearing Goomba that it runs away from you? Cause that would be kind of funny. But I feel like Luigi didn't have that much personality when this game came out. As in like Like yeah, Luigi's Mansion on the GameCube was out. But had they really fleshed out the Luigi that much? Maybe. Okay, I'm loving that Luigi can get up to the igloo pretty easily, though. Oh! 
Okay. It would be easiest to not have to deal with any of these enemies, but... Let's get real. I'm just afraid of losing my Luigi cap is all. Not that they're gonna kill me. Mm. Ah. <laughs> I think so. Luigi's got all kinds of personality. He might not have as much personality as Waluigi, though. And I and I and I mean that like, uh, like actually. But that's just, uh, maybe that's just because I I particularly like Waluigi's character. He's the shit heel. Who hates everybody? Because he thinks everybody hates him. Well, not because of that, necessarily. He despises all of the other characters because he thinks that they all get every... They all win everything, and he loses everything, or something to that effect. They get everything handed to them. Exactly the kind of character that's really, really super great and shouldn't have his own game. <laughs> because he's so great how he is. So that bob on buddy just tells you where the red coins are, I'm sure. And there we go. We're done with the... Uh, what is this one? Cool, cool mountain? No, that's the first one. That was Snowman's Land. A much better name. Okay, I want to switch back to Mario uh, to go to Tall Tall Mountain. Er, Wet Dry World is next? Wet Dry World is next. Wait a second. Or is it next? I blame all of this on the D-pad. I went to the retro game store the other day with Flex accompanying me this time and they didn't have a PSP memory card. I'm pretty excited to stream some PSP pretty soon. But, uh, need to find a memory card first. Yes, this is course 11. 
Why do I enjoy playing a game like this where you just go down a list of objectives, but absolutely hate doing the same thing in a game like Horizon? I guess... Well, one thing I can tell you is I don't like that this game tells you where the star is on the map. Um, because yeah, like, right, the obvious thing that you're not looking for is that I think that the gameplay of running and jumping around as Mario is more fun. Um, the reason here is that you get a hint, like, shocking arrow lifts, and it's up to you to take that and then figure out where the star is and what exactly you do to get it. Which is fun. Uh, but I don't like... When... The thing about those other games is that once you get to the place that, ha that has been pointed out to you, you're right there. This drops you into a level and it says find the star in the level versus something that uh, tells you, well, again, this is telling you right where it is on the map, which is annoying. But then on top of that, the, the, I guess it is just originally what I was saying, that the actual objective is, is not as fun. I feel like in, in a, in a lot of the open world games, the objective, once you get to the spot that you're being pointed to, is lame. For example, like, taking Horizon Zero Dawn as the example. There are those, like, artifacts or whatever. I feel like most of the time you, you would get to a spot that your map pointed you to in that game. And the objective would just be to turn on your eye thing and follow a trail of cat piss to, to what the objective is. Like, you just turn on a thing that changes your vision and you just follow a trail. And then at the end of it is a thing. You know what I mean? And that's really lame. But if you got there and it was like a fun platforming sequence, that would be pretty cool. Some of the stuff that I enjoyed in Horizon Zero Dawn was... Uh, actually, like, hunting the, the robot dinosaurs. Like, the actual... Well, the combat in it was fun some of the time. But yeah, I think that's the thing, is that a lot of the time... A game like Skyrim... Uh, or those other games that, that I'm not into, are that, like... Once you get to the objective, the thing that you have to do is really lame and simple. And so the whole journey, the whole, like, point of, or the, the whole, like, thing that you're doing in the video game is getting to the spot, you know? Because, because what you're actually doing there is lame. However, getting to the spot is also lame because the map is telling you exactly, like, pinpoint where it is. Yeah, and it, it is interesting to compare Skyrim to Fallout, because yeah, I I do really like Fallout. I think a big part of it is setting, where like the characters and stuff in Fallout are just so much more fun to talk to than the characters in Elder Scrolls. I don't care about all like the fancy high fantasy shit. Um all that much. Oh, right. I need to talk to the bob -omb buddy. Um, and then also, even though the gun combat in Fallout is bad, it's so much better than the melee combat in Skyrim, or the magic combat in that. Yeah, I was asking... 
I asked Ilias earlier if he saw Bugenhagen. But he hadn't yet. Bum, 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 bum. Yeah, like another example too of games that are that style is like Assassin's Creed, right? Where there's like a f feather on your map. You gotta go get the feather, right? So you follow the thing on your map and then you get there and it's just sitting there and you're like, okay, I have it now. You've seen his entrances? You've seen him more than once? I only saw him the one time. And he and he played he played the bottom rope like a keyboard. Right, I'm just going to blast like this. Wait a second. I thought top of the town meant that it wanted me to go to actual town. But I think it really just wants me to platform up here. Oh well, we we uh we open the cannon now. <laughs> right, then during a submission move he played his opponent like a guitar. That was great. Do, 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 do. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, yeah, this old one. All right, so I think I, I'm going to start out low on this one. Oh yeah, that gimmick probably won't make it to the main roster. I would agree with that. At least not... I would say I could only imagine that gimmick working on the main roster if he didn't do the singing. And I'm not saying the singing is bad, I'm saying the singing is probably, that's probably the thing though that's over the top of, of too annoying for the general audience. Hey Jejun, it's been a while. How are you? Bum, 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 bum. Wait a second, is there not a, a secret on this level? I guess not. Oh, you just stay away from me, heave ho. Okay, I can never remember if this is one. Oh yeah, what do they say on the side? They don't say they they don't have words on. There's no words on them. Okay, where is this other secret? Where is that motherfucker? <laughs> I did it. Ah, that's one of them. Okay. Then that pretty much confirms my suspicion of this being one. A day walking around DC. Nice! 
well. I am happy to help you relax. Okay, we got one more itty bitty secret. Or wait, no, these aren't itty bitty secrets. These are normal secrets. Oh! It's not going to be this box, is it? I, I feel like I, I may have made this mistake once before. It is. That's a little silly. Like, pushing the box is one secret, and then getting the other box that you push it to is a second secret. That... I remember that tripping me up for a long time. One time. Nice. Here in Minnesota, it was... Oh, right, Flex, you asked me earlier, has it been snowing like crazy here today? Yeah. Uh, today in Minnesota, it's just been like crazy, just... Just dumping snow outside. Like, the snow on my, uh... I feel like the snow on my... Like, outside my house, or outside my front door, is starting to become, like, waist high. 60... Dude... I would love some 60 degree weather right now. It got up to like 36 or 37 for a couple days. That was, and that felt great. Let's to go. I just remembered something. This. What? Oh, there it goes. That goes. Uh, do, do, do. Yeah, might as well. Bum, 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 bum. Eh, just send me up there, Johnny. Uh oh. I wonder if you can escape that in this one. In uh in the N64 version, you can escape Chucky's grasp if you um You have to do like a certain number of unique inputs. Or actually unique isn't the right word. Because they can be repeated. But I think it's like you have to like move the analog stick a direction, and that counts as an input, and then you have to move it back to neutral, and then move it out a direction again, bef for it to count as another input, or something about that. Uh oh. There we go. Yeah, I didn't know about that teleport when I was younger. It's useful. It makes it so that you should pretty much always enter this level with the water at the lowest because you can very easily make it high just by jumping in the cannon. Except I keep putting it at like this level. Oh. 
bum, bum, bum. I can't believe I used to not really like this level very much. This level's great. Four pie slices of health on that? Crazy. I know in original Mario 64, um, you know, you, you have the eight pie slices. So it's like, how many hit points does Mario have? Eight? Well, in the coding, he actually has 65,535 hit points. Oh my god. And that's why his health like gradually or is able to gradually go up and down is because every frame he's losing it, it, he's it, it like drains his HP when you get hit. But then there are things that that there are things that take away ha like half a pie slice of health for example. There's a certain f amount of falling damage you can take where, um, sometimes it'll be, do I gotta go further forward? There we go. Uh, where y it'll do like three slices the first time and then four the second time. The, like, default swimming angle in this game sends you slightly down. Like, if I quit touching it... Oh, wait, now it's going slightly up? Okay, I guess it just doesn't completely even out or something. I don't know. Okay. Just... I know, I know it's hard, especially when someone reminds you, but try not to think about Lincoln Park while you're in the tiny town. I know I already failed. Okay, red coins. What does this do? I don't remember this in 64 version. Maybe I should have gone for 100 coins along with this star. Is there one in here? Of course there is. Woo! Mario does not always turn on a dime like you expect him to with the D-pad. Last time I used chopsticks to eat? Hmm. It would have been like pretty recently, but I can't, I couldn't tell you exactly when. I mean, it would have been probably the last time that I had either Chinese food or maybe Thai food. I usually like to eat with chopsticks. It's fun. I definitely... 100% ate uh, with chopsticks at TwitchCon. I very, I like specifically remember. Um, a good Thai place by me? I don't know. I don't really like Thai food. 
overall, it's grown on me a little bit. Where, like, if we go to a Thai place, I'll find something that is okay and I'll have a meal. Um, yeah. But actually, come to think of it, last Thai, last time I was at a Thai place that I can think of, I don't think I did use chopsticks. So that just might be totally different. But yeah, at uh, at TwitchCon, we went to a Japanese restaurant with... I was with uh, Obst and Druby. I think Skaplooni was there. Um... Nexus was here, was there. Nexus was here, was there. I think? And some other people. It was not Hibachi. Uh, the place was called Minato. And it, it was like a pretty traditional restaurant. I need to get rid of this Luigi cap now. Do I press the screen? Um... Press all the buttons at once? I need to not be Luigi right now. I need to be able to wall jump. There is a pretty cool hibachi place, uh, or there's a couple hibachi places around here. Um, there's a... I would not be surprised if that worked. Actually, I would be because I'm... Okay, actually, I would be totally surprised, or not, or I would be surprised if that worked, because when something wants you to blow into the mic, all it's looking for is noise, because if you blow at a mic, it makes a lot of noise. I would like, I, Old Dash would have demonstrated by blowing into this mic at you guys right now, uh, but I won't do that. And so I would have been really surprised that I didn't, that whatever that, that blowing into the mic would not have just been procced by the fact that I'm just like shouting at my DS the entire time that I'm playing it right now. I think I can make that jump as Luigi. Yeah! We did it, boys. Okay. And then that must be the other one. Nice. Oops. And we've done it. Oops. All right. Once again, very low height going in. Quick race through downtown. What? They don't mean... Uh, there's a place in Minneapolis that did hibachi that I used to go to all the time, but that's when I lived in Minneapolis, so it was like pretty close to me. Other than that, all we have around here that I know of is a place called uh, Benihana, which I think... I think Benihanas are all over the place. Oh, this... Right, right, right. This star is in the original. It's just the Vanish Cap star. It's neat that going into the town lets you drain the water further down than even in the main level you can. Like, the level is at... The, the water level is at the lowest it can be. 
but it's like up here for the town. I even wonder if the wa if changing the water level here even affects the town or the affects the uh, the main the main level. Like if you you know what? I bet if you add the water all the way up in the main level, it wouldn't have this spot up here filled in. I bet they just have two separate water levels. And when you're in the tunnel, it just loads the other part of the level, which just has the the water at this level always. All right, here we go. Oops. There's like not even a water rushing sound. Flex, I, I already, I already uh, told everyone to try their best not to think about Lincoln Park while they're here. <laughs> done it. Alright, so how many is that for Wet Dry World? We've got one more plus the hundo. Yeah, I was also just talking about that flex that uh, you I, I, I forgot to answer you when you asked me earlier about the snow. Yeah, it's been snowing like crazy here. Hmm, I guess I probably shouldn't be going for uh, coins right now because we're probably not going to be able to leave this area. A Yoshi player, yeah. Whoops. talking about that last night that specifically Yoshi CPU in Smash Bros Ultimate is like super super difficult and Ilias was saying that uh, he helped them design the game's AI in general or something he was just like one of one of the AI designers or something I don't know you tell us because I I don't know the specifics oh my god get the star back
among the worst AI in anything you've ever played. So, as far as Smash Bros. AI goes, I currently, like, I play against... I play against a level 9 CPU, and I can, like, barely beat it. Just barely. Unless it's playing as Isabel, in which case I can't fucking touch it. I don't know if that's true. That sounds dubious. Unless you're talking about, like, specifically N64 Smash or something like that. You must be talking about, like, the N64 game or something. Uh-oh, don't grab that. I mean, sometimes they do dumb stuff. I wouldn't necessarily assume that that means that it's reacting to your inputs. I've certainly had the AI do silly things before, but it's AI. I've also had Isabel twice just stomp my face in to a degree that was embarrassing. More so embarrassing than usual. Okay, so your issue is that it reacts to your inputs. I mean, is it playing in a way that's more difficult than if you were playing against like a pro human? Oh, of course, we gotta use this. Yay! It puts the star in there. Yeah, the AI isn't perfect. But that still doesn't necessarily talk about your original problem with them... Re hang on. The original problem was that they're reading inputs. That doesn't seem related to me. That sometimes they do stupid things. Oh, okay. I mean, what's your real problem with the AI, though? Do you think that it poses no challenge whatsoever? Or is it like, does it vary too much? Or, or like, AI does silly things sometimes, and that's funny. 
you know, sometimes it does silly things. But when you're saying it's among the worst you've ever seen in games, I'm curious as to what your actual problem with it is. Which would be, which would have to be something that's like, it's affecting my enjoyment of the game because of this, you know what I mean? Which I would expect to be something more like... It's completely... Unbeatable because it cheats or, or it's completely worthless. Okay, so you're just saying that they behave differently than players- the- the AI behaves differently than players do. I mean, does it behave differently than just a bad player? Because when you think of like... When I think of being cheesy... Um, which one do we do here? Yeah, red coins. Like, the AI does seem a lot different than players. I think that's kind of to be expected, though. It would be pretty crazy if they could get the AI to do what players do. <clears throat> I guess I can't really... Just Smash Bros is just such a weird game with how it works that I really wouldn't expect the AI to be equivocable to a player. Just cause like, individual character versus character matchups are different and metagame changes and all that kind of stuff. Perfect shields over and over? I mean, isn't that something that a... Isn't that something that the pros would do? Okay, well, how do you feel about a level 8 CPU? Because... Uh, I feel like there is a certain element where, like, if, if all things were, if all things were proper, in a perfect world, you should never be able to beat a level 9 CPU because it's a, it's a freaking computer, you know? Um... So, yeah, I, I, I can imagine that, um, alright. So this means that I feel like now we're getting into what the actual problem is. This is why I'm challenging you so much about, about this Illu, is because I, now we're getting into the real meat and potatoes of what is the actual problem with Smash Bros. AI. And it sounds like what you're describing is actually the same problem that I have. Which is that the level 8 CPU is too easy. Versus the level 9 CPU, which is kind of a toss-up. You know? The level 9 CPU sometimes is just like, stupidly, uh, uh, what's the word? Um... What 
the hell is the word that I'm looking for? When something is like all knowing or whatever. Anyway, point is, uh, the level eight CPU is too easy and I can beat it every time. And then the level nine CPU is like a toss up. I was thinking omniscient, but then I was thinking, wait a second, that's what Ziltoid is. And wasn't that like a... And, th and then I was thinking that, that Ziltoid... Th the Ziltoid thing was just a joke. And it wasn't a real word. But yeah, I think omniscient is the word that I was looking for. Anyway. Yes. That's kind of what I'm t saying. Level 8 CPU, too easy. Level 9 CPU varies between being ridiculous and omniscient to also just being like weird and sometimes just does weird stuff which also isn't like super helpful so there's there's too much of a weird gap between uh between eight and nine Up, 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 up. But yeah, I I mean, so that's kind of been my issue. But yeah, I mean, maybe once you're... I mean, does that really... Is that really an argument against the AI being bad, though? I was going to say, you know, at that point, maybe you should just be playing online against humans. But then that kind of is just a, yeah, the AI sucks, or the AI is not well designed, or that kind of thing, you know? It, it kind of makes it sound like that, if the, if the solution is to just not play it. Okay. So now you're describing, right, what I, what I was kind of talking about, about the AI being too good in certain ways. But it's funny because originally you were talking about the AI being stupid and you being able to just cheese them into killing themselves all the time, which is way different. That's saying that they're too easy because it's exploitable. But yeah, I guess what I could say about it is that I felt like the level 8 CPUs, I could understand them. And I don't really understand level 9 CPUs. I'm really trying to get these coins over here, but I'm just going to go to town instead. Oh, we're talking about Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. Yeah, I hear that, Ilu. I almost feel like that's how a high-level CPU should be, though. You know? Shouldn't a really high-level CPU be too difficult to beat? And then people will surprise you. People will surprise the developers and other people by beating it anyway. But not in a way that you, but you would expect it to not be in the same way that two humans would battle in the game. You would expect it to be a different strategy because it's the AI that plays a certain way. Because it's an AI. And I think that's kind of cool. Yeah. Like, it's totally understandable and expected that a high-level AI would play differently than a high-level human. I, I feel like it would be some bonkers bullshit if, uh, if the high-level CPU was like a high-level human. Just because of how much goes into 
right, planning ahead and strategy and all that kind of stuff. Just because of, like, how complex that is. It would be, like, actual rocket science to get the AI to be that good. So instead it does computer stuff. Do do do. All right, scale the mountain. Who do I play as most? I think I play as Peach most. I don't think I'm the best with her, though. I don't know any, like, combos. I was just watching a Zero video, and somebody with Peach was, like, doing all these, like, combos. Like, they were chaining one move into the next and stuff, and it looked like... It looked like Peach was a lot better than when I use her. I don't know how to do any of that stuff. I'm really liking Piranha Plant, though. Piranha Plant? I, I So I tried out Piranha Plant last night. Uh, after after playing Pokemon They added this here now. Oh my gosh And that oh geez this game is for they just made this game for babies There we go whoops Stop it, Goomba. There we go. What did what thing? There you go, there you go. They must do one and a half pie slices damage. I've always been amused at how these first two stars are just the same star. They're both just to scale the mountain. Uh, uh, yes, Flex. Um, that was actually the last character that I unlocked. I didn't have her unlocked before, but during my Piranha Plant playing, uh, I unlocked her last night. I, like, couldn't feel any difference between her and regular. Ugh. I mean, like, she floats, but that doesn't actually really feel different. Unless maybe she was a little slower? I don't know. But it didn't feel like it. I thought I thought she felt exactly the same. Whoops. Yeah, yeah, I, right, that, that's kind of what I've, um, heard is about Echo Fighters in general, is just that, like, to someone like me, I'm, like, not gonna even notice a difference, but there are gonna be some tiny differences. I might order a pizza tonight. I don't know. Kind of feeling it. Oh, except I really like to get those, those Papa John's cookies lately. They're just super delicious. But I don't have any milk right now. 
Maybe what I should actually do is go to the store and get some damn groceries, because I don't have any food in my house right now. So yeah, he was just the same star again. We had to scale the mountain. Now we just scale the mountain again. But this time we grab a monkey instead of getting a star. If it had a bike stolen from me? I don't think so. I only had like one bike that I can remember. Do I need to talk to you again? Okay, there we go. I had a Magna bike. And I, uh... Yeah, it was a mountain bike. It was a Magna mountain bike. And I remember cutting the G and the N off of Magna on the, on the sticker. And switching them around so it said manga. Just cuz. I think I had a different bike before that one. You know, I had to have when I was like a child. My dad did back over my bike one time. One time I left my bike, like, right behind my dad's truck and he backed up over it. So that happened. Whoa, look at what's happening, you guys. He was kind of pissed, yet. Oh, there we go. Crouching got us out of it. <laughs> but yeah, um, yeah, he was mad about the bike thing. I don't really remember my reaction. I don't know if I really quite understood what had happened. Oh, jeez. I am kind of at the point now, though, where it's like, okay, I do need to decide whether I'm going to get food later. Because if I am not getting food later, then I should be having another Soylent. Oh, jeez. Would I get a calzone? No! The place that I got calzones from doesn't deliver to my new house. So the only way that I can get a calzone now would be to go get uh, pickup or carry out. But, like, it's kind of far away, which is why they don't deliver here. I don't know how many miles exactly it is. Oh, why? The Domino's also doesn't deliver here, even though it turns out it's only like 10 miles away. So I don't know why they don't deliver here. 
They're, it's like pretty close. Yeah, 10 miles isn't far for delivery. Maybe it's 10 minutes. But I don't know. So I hadn't had Domino's in a long time because I haven't been able to have them since moving because I only ever get delivery. And, uh, but my cousin just moved in and she picked up Domino's the other day and oh man, Domino's is so good. It's, it's, it's surprising because it, Domino's has like the reputation of, I at least I think, they have the reputation of being like the McDonald's of pizza, you know, but they're not. Domino's is great. They're your favorite. My favorite pizza chain is uh, Papa John's. I love Papa John's. Let's to go. I love bouncing on those two Koopas. You know, I've always like straight up hated buffalo sauce or buffalo, like buffalo wings. Can't stand it. I wonder what the like, what, what is like the base of buffalo sauce? Why does it taste so bad? Vinegar, that explains a lot. <laughs> yeah, I remember one time, like one, only one time in my life, having like buffalo wings actually be what my meal was. I was like at a friend's house when I was a kid. And, uh,. And my friend's mom made us buffalo wings. Uh, but luckily, the wings were separate from... Well, were they? I don't know. Wait, no, no, no. This is a different time. I'm getting two stories mixed up. However... I Okay, I was older. Okay. When I had buffalo wings, I was at a friend's house, and it was their mom that made them. But it was a different friend, and I was older. And I just, I, but I remember being very disappointed because I didn't really know, I didn't really know what buffalo wings were. You know, I thought they were gonna be like barbecue wings because I didn't, I've, I'd never had buffalo wings. And oof. Okay. It's always been a bit of a struggle for me, though, where it's like... I, I hate the fact that I have to be picky about this kind of thing, you know? Where, like, I would love to just like everything. But I don't, and so in a situation like that... I'm probably a really annoying little kid who can't eat anything, you know? Not many things you, di you dislike. There's not many things that I like. I have a very narrow palate.
That's part of the reason that Soylent works so well for me, is because otherwise it's stressful to, like, just eat every day. Because there's so few things that I want to eat. I realized that that's where I died last time also. It's just that last time I wasn't holding forward. So I thought maybe I don't have to hold forward. Or maybe I just need to hold forward and not actually do the jump. However, I did purposely jump onto the track. So that I'd be butt sliding. So that I would be able to jump. I just decided to test it. Because, like, right here, this part, it turns out you just hold forward and you're fine. Yeah, it's a little weird to have to jump here, because if your stomach... Because what if your stomach's sliding? Then you're just fucked. Wait a second, this is caged? So I can't use the slide to get coins? Weird. I can't use the slide to get coins for the 100 coin star. That's very interesting. Well, yeah, I mean, you can do that in the regular game, though. Wait, what was this one? Blast of the Lonely Mushroom? I've got a better way than blasting. I hope it works. I'm seriously in a crisis here, thinking about pizza. Yeah! Thinking about pizza, but needing milk for the cookie part. Do 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 do. Five Secrets of the Mountain. Okay, so this is a new one. Why? There's like, a, there's an owl in like every level on this one. Maybe I should be taking advantage of that. Okay, so where are these mountain secrets going to be? Is this one? Probably has to do with these black boxes. I bet we gotta be Wario. Ah, uh, we'll go around. Gotta make sure I see everything. But it kinda looks like the Wario cap is just at the summit. You guys remember that game Dark Summit? I don't. I just remember seeing ads for it. Mons, what up? Doing this on a DS? 
Can you dig it? I watched the Warriors kind of recently. I liked it. Can you dig it? I just like doing things like that. Oh yeah, that seems great. Come out and play. Oh no. I feel like in the 64 game you can just go up that without a problem. Without having to stop and backflip like I've been doing. Wait, how the hell did I get here? From over there? Okay. Well, I guess we do something like this now. Just get all the way down here. T-Bird? I haven't seen the crow, really. I think I saw, like, the beginning of The Crow when I was a kid, but I didn't see the rest of it. Okay, is this a secret of the mountain? Yes, alright. Whoa! Come here, Chuck, ya. Oh. Get over here, monkey. Oh, no. Oh, is that cap actually gone? Oh, jeez. Wait, I can't tell if it respawned in a reasonable place or not. Might as well talk to you. I should probably just go to the store and get food after the stream. Then I can have almond milk to uh, order a pizza with tomorrow. Milk with pizza? No, no, no. It's for the cookie part. <laughs> Man, okay, so growing up, my family was a was a pop drink pop for dinner family. Uh, my mom always just drank water at the dinner table, but my dad would always have Pepsi and uh, as kids we would just also have Pepsi. If my mom ever did get a pop, she would get a Mountain Dew. So it was like mom was Mountain Dew and dad was Pepsi. But mom usually drank water. Anyway. Uh, that was only one of the mountain secrets, huh? And there's five of them? Anyway. I remember the first time going to somebody's house. I think it was my cousin's house. I had to like spend, I, I had to like have dinner at my cousin's house one time. And they were having like a pizza or that kind of like normal dinner, but drinking milk with it? 
And I thought it was the weirdest thing in the world. Just like bizarre. And I still do think that. Who the hell is drinking milk for dinner? Like, give me water if not, uh, if not pop. Nowadays, I do just drink water um, most of the time with my meals. Maybe it was really, yeah. Maybe it was really spicy pizza. <laughs> How the fuck do you take a cap off in this game? I have to just go hit something like that. To become Mario again. Yeah, maybe if it was chocolate milk, that would be, like, closer to understandable or reasonable. Okay, this seems new. This probably isn't the star that I'm currently on, but we'll do it. Uh-oh. Oh, jeez. Oh, come on! Okay. Hey, Dean Douglas. Ah! Hang on, there's still one of these rings that's being difficult. Alright, I guess I'm just going for that right now because I'm not finding these other secrets of the mountain. Yeah, I, I have water most of the time now, Mons, and Bark's root beer was a big one for me back when I drank more pop. Um, but yeah. Well, the biggest thing for me, when I was really on the pop for my whole year, my whole life, those were the secrets? Then what the hell was the other thing? Anyway. Um, the, uh... The big thing for me was all the different flavors of Mountain Dew. But I did drink a lot of Barks later in my pop drinking. And now I still have Barks from time to time. I just had it the other day at, at Five Guys. But, uh... But yeah, the, um... Nowadays, I drink mostly, mostly water. But if I am having, like, dinner at, like, a restaurant or something like a sit-down restaurant having dinner I'll get a I, I will get like a dark pop you know I'll get I'll get a dr. pepper has kind of been my new go-to Oh, it's a Wario star. Vanilla Coke. I know Flex Retro really likes... I 
think vanilla coke. I used to always get, like, if I was gonna get a dark pop, it would always be cherry coke. Or, or cherry pepsi, whichever one. Um, especially if they make it with grenadine. But even then, nowadays, I just go right to Dr. Pepper. Boom. Yeah, I... Those... The fancy, uh... Fountains, I don't like them. I just... I don't want... Fucking... Grape root beer, you know? Like... When I see one of those super fancy pop machines, I just go... And get some Dr. Pepper from it, you know? No, Dean Douglas, this is the DS version of this game. This is, uh... Oh. Yeah, this is Super Mario 64 DS. And there you go. It's fuzzy, I'm sorry, the camera, but, you know. Okay, so we need the 100 coins. But yeah, I'm streaming under normal Mario 64 because who the hell browses the Mario 64 DS Twitch category? Yeah, working the D-pad is a little bit more tiring than the N64 analog stick. That's for sure. It's not so bad, though, but I'm very used to playing games on a D-pad. Hey, Lucifer. Uh, we will be interested in that area in a second here. Oh no! Okay, that could have been worse. Lucifer, we are just talking about if you're having dinner, you know, what's your what's your what's your go-to beverage? I was saying if if not water for me, then I like a good Dr. Pepper. But I, I'm telling you guys, I and you you guys know, even when I first started my stream, it was apparent if any of you were around right at the beginning. I used to be a Mountain Dew fiend. I'm talking like four a day. I went to the dentist. I went to the dentist for the first time in a while as an adult. Like the first time that I was choosing as an adult to go to the dentist, you know? Because after you move out from your parents' house, you're not going to the dentist anymore. But you should, and and I and I did, because it was time. I realized, okay, yeah, you go to the dentist. And I went to the dentist, and the dentist uh, looked at my teeth, and right away, exactly what he said was, "Do you drink a lot of Mountain Dew?" He didn't even say pop. He said, "Do you drink a lot of Mountain Dew?" I was like, oh, no. Uh, I got one of my wisdom teeth removed, Elu. My, my bottom right wisdom tooth I got removed a couple months ago. And yeah, so 
for me, my wisdom teeth themselves aren't falling apart, but the one that I got removed broke the tooth next to it. So my back molar on the on the bottom right is um is just broken is basically broken in half. And I can't remember, is this one fucked? No, that one seems fine. Trying to cut back on soda, so water if you're... Okay, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, yeah, I mean, that's... I, I'm glad to hear that from so many people, because that's how it is for me as well, where I used to be just an absolute fiend for soda, but nowadays it's, uh... Nowadays I'm drinking mostly water. Speaking of which... Ooh, yeah. Satisfying. Okay, let's get some of these ring coins. I need stay hydrated, bot. I don't remember I don't remember to take sips often enough. And then I go take a bathroom break during my stream. And my pee is like cloudy orange and I'm like, whoa, I need to get some water in me. I'm just kidding. Well, most of the time. I wouldn't have, I, <laughs> I wouldn't think of that joke if it hasn't happened. Oops. How am I so behind on coins? Where the hell are they? <laughs> Glowing pee. <laughs> Okay, here's some. Oh, right, and I didn't get any out of this chuck yet. But normally I would have gotten a bunch of coins off the slide. But you can't do that in this version. So, like, what's a boy to do? Now I gotta find more coin sources. But like... Am I really gonna find 21 more? I already got these. Just a bit of asparagus. All right, here's one. Don't talk to me every time, Owl. How long does this Owl carry you? Do you think I can use it to collect more of these ring coins? Hmm. Oh, you had a kidney stone at one time, Mons? I'm... I'm very sorry to hear that. <laughs> Bread contains chemicals with, which latch onto your teeth. Then by drinking pop, it creates a reaction which makes the things on your teeth from the bread. Hmm. I don't know. 
Wait a second, are you trying to tell us, Dean, that this is some kind of bread conspiracy? That they purposefully, they, perp, you know who I'm talking about, purposefully put chemicals in bread to destroy people's teeth so that they need to pay money to dentists to get it removed? I don't know, man. See, I just have dental insurance. Which is really cheap, because nobody goes to the dentist. That's crazy talk. That's like when my dad says that video game systems are made to ruin VCRs, back when you had to hook up a video game system through a VCR, because we all had VCRs that were the main thing. Um... I, I, I'm curious about what you have to say, though. Who, who is they? Who is they? But yeah, my, my dad used to think that, uh... <laughs> where are the VCRs now? <laughs> my dad used to say that video game consoles were made to ruin VCRs so that you would have to buy a new VCR. But it's like, that would be a really weird underhanded deal between, like, Nintendo and fucking JVC, you know? <laughs> Done nothing but teleport bread for three days? Teleport? Where's JVC? Hmm... What is JVC doing nowadays? Did you guys know that Sony actually developed both uh, VHS and Betamax, but they sold VHS to JVC? I think that this is going to result in coins. I don't know what it's counting up to, though. Oh, a one-up? Okay, so we got some one-ups. They both used to eat up the beginning few minutes of every video cassette. Oh, man. Guys, I don't know where there's I don't know where there's 15 more coins in this level. This shy guy is worth like three. The PSX had better graphics, sound, storage format, and Nintendo first party support than the N64. Nintendo first party support? What did Nintendo have to do with the PlayStation? I mean, I know about I know about like the Nintendo PlayStation thing with the Super Nintendo disc add-on and all that. But that can't be what you're talking about. Okay. Well, like, I, I'll give you that there might be chemicals in bread that rot your teeth if you drink pop with them. What I don't believe is that it's specifically there to ruin your teeth so that you have to give money to dentists. That's where you lose me. Yeah, the slide, but then we'll get the coins and the, and the, um, and the star will appear above our head where we can't get it. <laughs> Big cavity.
Hmm. Yeah, you're right, Ilias. We might have to do that. At this point, that's like my only option, I feel like. Except for one thing, which is what the hell is this little pathway down here? What is this? Are there coins on it? Doesn't look like it. Oops. Oh, I'm playing off the capture. That's what's going on. No, I actually not Ilias. Um, the, uh, well, unless the teleport is still there, but I don't think it is. In this one, they caged off the slide. The end of the slide. So, when you're... I mean, there might still be a teleport, I guess. I forgot about that. In fact, I don't know if I ever knew that there was a teleport at the end of the slide. I just, like... you. Can, but you can, like, jump out of there, right? But in this one, it's all caged in. But yeah, as, as far as like chemicals and food, it's always like preservative kind of stuff. I don't know. I just, I don't... Okay, let's like be careful with how many coins we get. That's probably going to be enough. Oh yeah, bread, bread in the US is like really sweet compared to other countries. Damn it. Okay. Alright, well, we gotta slide twice then. I know what you're talking about, Dean. I I know that like bread gets on your teeth. Okay, so So here we are. This is what I'm talking about. This part is like caged in in this version. I don't think there's a teleport or anything. So yeah. So what do we actually do? Cause I just, I guess I just gotta be more careful about how many coins I get. Your sausages are sweet. I don't really eat sausage, so I wouldn't know really. The only time that I have sausage is on on a pizza, and that'll be like a that'll be a spicy sausage that I get a spicy Italian sausage, which maybe suggests that the American sausage is not good. Because, yeah, uh, American sausage, at least how I know it, like like what we usually have for, like, breakfast, like a breakfast sausage, I guess breakfast sausage, yeah, graphically, I think this does look better than the N64 version. Um, I think breakfast sausage definitely is sweet because it has, like, a maple syrup kind of flavor to it, uh, which I don't really like. 
And, um... So when you get, like, a pizza that has, like, breakfasty sausage in it... I don't know. Gross. And now these aren't worth any coins, right? I don't think so. Yeah, I, I think the reason that, like, sausages like that are really sweet is because they're purposefully, like, infused with maple syrup. Kind of like... Kind of like how... Like, White Castle cooks their burger patties in, like, all, all up in onions. So that the onion flavor just gets all up in their patties, and it's disgusting, by the way. But enough about that. Hang on. I never went down this little path, I don't think. Okay, well. Two coins there. Okay. Three ba bombs. There we have it. Get the chuck ya. That's right. My feelings are very layered. I'm a complex person, damn it. <laughs> so, this dentist thing. Who's in charge of this? And who is it benefiting? Who is it actually benefiting? If I had a bigger mass, yeah. I only weighed 105, 110. I need to get this shy guy. Alright, whatever. We'll get that shy guy if we need three more coins. Oops. How tall am I? I am 5'9". Benefiting the owners of the bread companies? Wouldn't you... Why would it benefit the owners of bread companies to have people have to go to the dentist because the bread is eating their teeth? Oh, hang on. Just a moment. <laughs> <laughs> 
Actually, we'll just leave this on for music. Oh, but after these Goombas are no longer hostile. Oh, no. Alright, so if we're... Okay, 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 okay. One moment. There we go. Okay. <laughs> hey, Rocket. Am I, like, missing something huge? Whoa! Okay, that just blasted my fucking hat into... Are you serious? Did you guys see that? It just blew my hat straight into the slide. Oh, never getting that back. Yeah, I tried going to the wings. I tried get uh, going to the wings in the sky thing. I just can't see a world where What? I just can't see a world where somebody goes to the diamond, goes to the or somebody wants money. Cuz that's what it's all about. And, and, and goes to the bread companies and says, Hey, put a bunch of shit in your bread that destroys people's teeth so that they can pay us money to fix it. And these bread companies, which are owned by human beings, say yes. It would be much more effective for a toothpaste company or something some such to just buy, I don't know, an advertisement on TV where Samuel L. Jackson is brushing his teeth and making it really fucking cool. You know what I mean? I am way more likely to brush my teeth more regularly if I regularly saw Sam Jackson on TV brushing his teeth. No! Mario, why are you on your stomach now? You eat the bread, drink the pop, wrecks your teeth, you have to go to the dentist to get your teeth fixed or pulled. Yes, we agree that the mixture of bread and soda is bad for your teeth. But I'm not understanding why it's being done on purpose. Or who it would benefit to have it be done on purpose. It's got to benefit somebody, right? There's got to be a reason. Somebody's at the top making money off of this. Who is it? Who makes money from this? And why? Why on earth would it be the best way for that person to make money? Because people who want money 
They need to make as much money as possible. And this whole, like, this, this slide doesn't make sense to me. To get your money, right. But who? The dentists? Oops, I just slid on my stomach again. The bread CEOs own all the dentist schools. Okay, okay. Mons is getting somewhere, maybe. Where the hell is my hat? You, you understand my skepticism here, right, Dean? I hope. Right, Lucifer. The monkey has it if you lose it in the level and don't get it back. Okay, right. But yeah, when you're describing a conspiracy, it means that, like, somebody at the top somewhere is benefiting from it. And you really gotta understand why and how in order for it to make any sense. Chinese New Year lasts 23 days? I didn't know that. Okay, is there something you can do here to get me not in that other place? No. A full phase of the moon? That makes it sound badass. <laughs> I love Mario's confusion about missing his head. Maybe I'm supposed to choose a different... Choose a different star? It's to make you go to the dentists. Okay. To benefit the dentists. But you understand, though, that that means that somebody had to think of this plan. Somebody who thinks, boy, the dentists are not getting enough. They need more. Or we need more, because they'd have to be one of the dentists. And so their plan... Hi, Yamido! And so their plan is to get bread companies. Now remember, the bread companies make their money on having a good product. You are, if you're a bread company, you want to make good bread that people want to buy. And so your plan as the dentist, who needs the dentists to make more money, is to go to the bread companies and ask them to ruin their products and harm people by destroying their teeth in order for you to make money, which means that you would have to, as the dentist person, you would have to pay these bread companies a lot of money to get them to do this, while that same money could be spent on making your product better, Advertising. Anything like that. Or by product, I mean you're, you're dentisting. Because you're the dentist. It's just, it's, cra it's crazy talk. It's straight up crazy talk to think that this is an actual conspiracy. And not just what is much more likely, I think. 
which is that there's a lot of chemicals in bread to like preserve it or to make it like more appealing to people by like being sweeter and that kind of thing because a lot of people like that shit. And uh and they and it's just an oversight basically. Or they just don't care that it's ruining people's teeth. And that part is consequent, uh, is coincidental to the real reason that bread has bad chemicals in it. You know what I mean? Bread is gross and ruins your teeth. It, for, 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 for what we're talking about. Because the companies don't care. That's what I think. If this is happening. I'm going to look into it though, Dean Douglas, because it's interesting what you're saying. And I, I, I would like to be able to... I, I'd like to be able to have more of a conversation with you about it with a little bit more information. Because that's just my gut reaction is, sounds like these the all these chemicals are probably there for some other reason. And they just don't care that it hurts your teeth. Yeah, like what Maddo is saying. Cinnamon raisin bread is tremendous. Hello, James Crowder. Man, now I want to go brush my teeth. And think about Samuel L. Jackson and how cool he is while I do it. It's not really fair. It's not really fair that some people in the world get to be so cool. Like, have you guys fucking seen Prince? Have you guys seen that guy? Prince? Why does he get to be so cool? Oh, that's... Sorry to hear that, Maddo. SLJ. Oh, right, Sam Jackson. He was in Old Boy Remake. You know what? It kind of seemed like with the Old Boy Remake, didn't it kind of seem like the director's number one goal in that movie? was to make Samuel L. Jackson cool. It was like he had an idea of how Samuel L. Jackson could be like dressed really cool and act really cool. And that was like the only actual bit of direction in the movie. The only actual little bit of like, okay, this movie was directed by this person who wanted it to be a certain way. Everything else in the movie was the most generic, just sludge of a movie. But then you see Sam Jackson and you're like, okay, they they you know, they wanted th this character got some attention. Uh-oh. Flossing isn't proved to improve dental health. How wouldn't it be? I mean, it cleans between your teeth. I don't floss nearly as much as I probably should. In fact, growing up, I never flossed. And the only reason that I floss now is because those little things, those little plastic things you can buy that hold a little piece of dental floss, make it kind of fun to floss. They make it kind of fun. Because you get like a little tool to use.
Oh my. Oh yeah, if you're flossing correctly, then you can do some damage. That's for sure. Yeah, wrapping dental floss around your fingers? That's terrible. Get that out of here. But the little plastic tool things? Hmm. Alright, alright, alright. Ooh, that felt good. In response to an Associated Press investigation, the U.S. government stopped recommending flossing in their 2015 U.S. dietary guidelines, having deliberately changed their focus to food and nutrition and stated that the effects of flossing had never been researched as required. Okay, so they're just saying they don't know that flossing is good. They're saying flossing is under-researched. So maybe instead of pushing something that's under-researched, they should get people to not just think that brushing and flossing makes everything okay, and instead they should die. They should have a better... Stupid monkey. They should um, have a better diet. Sure. Is this going to work? Going around this thing? Yes. Did we already get these two? I think I did. Yeah. Yeah, for sure vaporizers could use more research. Get on the slide after 60. Well, okay, so my issue, though, with the slide... Oh, but, okay, if I do it around 60, then I won't get all the rest of the coins too fast. I agree with that. That'll, that's a good idea. Oops. Oops. Oh my god, why, what was that jump? My Mario just like barely jumped. Yeah, there's the five rings in the sky, but it's really difficult to collect those coins. Like, honestly, collecting the coins in the sky just sounds like a huge pain in the ass. More so than jumping up this ladder. Or this slide, I mean. I just gotta make sure not to die. Okay, hang on, hang on. Uh, oh, oh god. I hate this. <laughs> Why is this star like this? What did they do to Tall Tall Mountain? Okay, let's see how I could have done it better. All right. Okay, so let's let's take a look here. So how many coins are in this slide? We'll find out right now.
So you jump off right here. There are no coins left. So here you go. You can't do the run back up the slide thing. Well, for, for two reasons. The other reason is that the kick trick doesn't work in this one. Um, and there are just no coins here to grab at the end. So... Okay. Alright, this is the run now. The kick trick was wor- oops, I'm sorry. The kick trick was working to beat up bullies. It wasn't working to get up ledges. At least from my testing so far, is what I've gathered. Like, you can still do the kick, which is really good for beating up bullies, but, you know. Yeah, for DS, um, yeah, this game is great. I really, I really, really like that this game is on DS. Yeah, that was me just jumping. Um, I really don't want to get the star that way. It's too stressful. All right. I wonder how many coins are in that black box. Yeah, the rings in the sky, uh, that, that's that gotta be... I mean, that's just gonna have to be the solution. Who'd have thought Alias would have been right all along? Oops. This shy guy is just too difficult to hit. I tried earlier. Oh, oh, oh. Woo! Oh, geez, now we're Luigi. Super Mario 64 DS with Wario and Luigi on the box. Yes, in this version you can play as Luigi and Wario and even Yoshi. So right now we are Mario, but we're Luigi because we put Luigi's hat on. But you can just straight up play as Luigi. Oh, that's that's true, Ilias. 
Maybe Luigi would be better at the slide. Oh my god, the the cloud just blew me into the slide. Alright, let's practice our... Oh, it, this totally works. Okay. This, this is actually going to work perfectly because Luigi has the crazy legs. Luigi can do crazy legs, and that'll make it work. And yeah, last time I was trying to avoid the hundredth coin because that's why I wasn't slowing down and stuff was last time. No, it's so fucked. And then that happens, there's something about this slide. There's something about this that is very weird. This star is unacceptable. Remember how every other star in the game didn't take me a, a, an entire hour? Why is the slide like this? I'm gonna say something crazy. But I think that the changes to the slide in this game make it, make this slide and level a little poorly designed. A little bit. I think the changes to the slide made it worse. <laughs> it was good to meet you, Lucifer. All right. So we're going to collect this star for the 80th time. And this time I'll do it. Anyone, would any one of these be better? Just do the red coin one. <laughs> Why am I getting this life? I just go up there for one coin and then we gotta talk to this freaking owl. Alright. look in this water. Are there any coins in here? No. Okay. 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 Do, 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 do. No. Oops. What? I was playing around with the ZR and ZL back here to see if they did anything. Because they're not on the regular DS.
Oi. Okay. That last death was particularly unfortunate. On that last attempt, I wasn't even trying to go on the slide. The stupid cloud just pushed me into it. Wow, that crazy box was crazy. Oh my god, well that lost us a coin. So this time we'll have to become Wario and see what's in that black box there. <laughs> yeah, I really thought that the Luigi crazy legs was gonna was gonna make the slide happen, but it didn't. Wait a second, where's the blue switch in this level? You know the blue switch? Is it at the beginning of the slide? Like the entrance to the slide? You guys know what I'm talking about, right? Real talk. Okay, I don't really want to become Luigi. I just want this coin. I heard Nintendo's stock saw a noticeable jump the day that Bowsette became a thing. Ooh. My God. <laughs> Turn around. Turn around, say it again. I'm so fucking mad. Good God. <laughs> what? All right. Well, time to run up the mountain again. I guess I could use this owl, but like. I don't know, man. He takes me so high. I don't know why I can't grab this Chucky this time. Are you serious? <laughs> I know, he's reading my fucking inputs, dude.
There we go. Okay. Now, moving on. There's a lot of coins that just like fall off shit in this level also. Uh, we already got the coins from those two bob bombs down there. Oh god. <clears throat> okay. Don't want any more coins falling off the stage. It's like when you're playing Assassin's Creed 2 and the Ezio just fucking magnets to everything and you can hardly control him because he's just, he's just so caught up in climbing on everything. Oh my god, there is a, where's the blue switch? How do I get out of here? There's a way out. There's, there must be. There was a coin right there. What does that mean? Why would there be a coin right there? Well, there's a texture that they forgot to put in right there, so that's cool. Why is this in the game? Why is it like this? And mash and jump. Oh my god, I what the fuck happened? I was mash and jump. But he still slid forward several feet. Hi Fair D, how are you? Oh god. Hi, Eclipse Moon. Here's where we're at in this fucking level right now. I'm trying to get the hundred coins, but they changed this level to where after you exit the slide, you can't get back to the regular level. Which means if you're trying to collect the hundred coins, you can't enter the slide. But the slide keeps, the, the, the side of the mountain keeps just fucking sucking me in when I'm next to it. Forcing me to do the slide and ruining my hundred coin run. Hoi. And collecting the hundredth coin on the slide is also not really working very well either. Uh. <clears throat> However, you know, overall though, I am doing great because I am playing Super Mario 64. So, that part's great. Okay. Here we go. Let's to go. 
The madness continues. I wish I could collect this coin without climbing this tree. Nice. That way we don't have to listen to the owl talk every time. <laughs> Man, look how good these Goombas look. Why is the crazy box doing that now? It wasn't... Oh, it wasn't doing that before. Where it's like launching me all the way up there and then spraying the coins everywhere. Christ. In fact, that's a reset. The coins are so... The coins are, are, are so stingy in this level that I, I got a reset if that happens. Because we just lost five coins to that. Okay. Oops. Oh no, now we gotta listen to the owl. Okay. I'm so mad about that. But that was only one coin. Okay, you quit being so crazy. There we go. I mean, I still didn't get one of those, but oh well. All right, all right. 15 coins. We're 15% done. These eight coins are easy. I'm not going to waste time getting that life anymore. Uh, come over here. Get these eight coins. Oops. Oof. Negative 59 Celsius? What? Where? Bomb. We meet again. One of those coins went flying off the side. Happened. I don't know what happened to my life. I don't know why this is a thing that has started to happen. Why did... Fuck. Owl, I'm sw- I don't care. Let's get far away from it. Ugh.
Hey guys, remember how reasonable this star was to get in the N64 version? That's a word I would use to describe it. Reasonable. Hey, I did a good job with the coins on that one. And maybe I do need to keep collecting that life. Oops. 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 What? Mario. Uh, okay. Let me grab these. Come over here for these. Then the game will tell me where the Luigi hat respawns. Get to this guy. So far, this is the best I've done. Just generally speaking on like I'm collecting all the coins. Ugh, okay. Do, do, do. Carefully walk around this thing. Uh huh, uh huh. Now, don't get pushed into the slide. Okay, so what is going on here that pushes me into the slide? That thing is facing me now? What the fuck? Why did Mario start sliding there? Dude! Okay, fuck it! <laughs> Dude! 
Like, he keeps just, like, falling over. I mean, I get it. There's a little bit of angled terrain there, but it's annoying. Okay. Now it's just time for the huge pain in the ass, which will be collecting these coins via flight. It's a lot of coins, but look what a big, dumb pain in the ass it is to have to fly through rings to get them. Plus, I the thing is, I've been meaning to do this. I've been meaning to fly through rings for them for the last, like, three attempts. Where I kept just getting fucking blown into the... And sucked into the slide. I haven't been intending to do the slide the last, like, three times. Oh yeah? <laughs> Oop. I thought that was gonna be it. Okay. There's our star. We go super safe and come back here. What if he just doesn't land? happen if he just didn't land? Hmm. I really wanted it to happen. I wanted it to happen really badly for me to not land on anything to see what would happen. <sighs> We've done it. Man, Tiny Huge Island is going to be a cakewalk after that. I wonder if this level has changed at all, because this level has some very difficult, kind of pain in the assy kind of stuff in it. Don't these all drop? blue coins in the 64 version? I swear they do. Look at that. 
Back to the usual kind of star progress that we're looking for. Whoops. I used to uh, think that this was like the most, basically the toughest level in the game. Um, but that one like pipe jump I just did uh, to to get to the regular level completely changes everything and makes the level so much easier. So basically what I'm saying is you always want to start big because who wants to run down that long ass hallway? But then doing this, bam, it's just, woo. That's right, seven more in the whole game. And then we've once again 100%ed Super Mario 64. All right, let's go. Uh-oh. You have a Mario game? Is it New Super Mario Bros? That one's pretty popular. Oh, wow. They made that easier. That would have, I feel like that would have never won the, the N64 version. And yeah, this, this is an original DS game. I'm playing it on a 3DS, but, but, uh, this game was on, this came out, like, very shortly after the original DS in 2004. I already have streamed Super Princess Peach Eclipse Moon. I 100%ed the game on stream. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Klepto the Condor. Klepto is in this level now? And he's big? Whoops, well, now I'm Mario. Okay, we gotta look at his flight path here. See what he flies over where we can get him. Looks like it's probably right there. Yeah, Dean, uh, we just re I just recently played through that and 100% of it. Okay, so how do I actually get over to that platform now? I think I remember. I think you get down there via this spot. And then you... Oh, this is the star! Oh, well there it is. We got it. <laughs> 
I was thinking that was the spot that you teleport from. Ding dong dong da da da. Wiggler's, whoops. Wiggler's red coins, huh? Ah, I was wondering if that was gonna hit me. So I stood there. There was another one? What's happening? There we go. Okay, anyway, um, what's the Wiggler's Red Coins? This isn't where you actually fight Wiggler, though. Oh, jeez. Not really sure what that interaction was all about. But okay, so oh my god, fucking what? I'm why is Klepto in this stage? I'm swimming. Why would they put him around water? Okay. What is he doing? What's he doing with it? I need it back! Oh my god. There we go. Okay. Now. We need the level to be small. Dead Wiggler storage. <laughs> now we need to come down here. And down here. This is why we prepared the cannon. That hurt me and I bopped the Goomba? Okay. They made this wider. I guess that makes sense with the D-pad and stuff. Also, where the switch star is, huh? And how many blues? Is that all? Just two, huh? Okay. Bring me over there. Let's go. Oh no. <laughs> Already using holograms and cooking robots? Hmm. I have seen those holograms for, for I, you know, I would love to go to like a Hatsune Miku hologram concert that would be great
As far as cooking robots goes, hmm. I guess depending on what your definition of a robot is. There's, yeah, yeah, I was, I'm basically saying something similar to Ilias, that like, depending on your definition of robot, I think there's plenty of cooking robots. What about those vending machines that you like? Have you guys ever ordered something from one of those vending machines that like pours it out in front of you? What the fuck, Klepto? Like where it drops the cup and then, or it drops like a plate, and then puts a thing. No, 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 like, like you order from a vending machine, and then the vending machine has like a, a whole like thing in it where it like puts a plate down, and then like a food item, and then like a cup next to it, and then it pours the drink and all that kind of stuff. All right. Why make him talk again? <laughs> Well, they seem to make this a little bit more significant, where, like, in the original game, this, you just jump on him, like, two or three times, and then he just falls through. Now he actually turns mad and stuff. Oh, I was happy again. Oh, and he doesn't just fall through? He becomes tiny, and he doesn't, okay. <laughs> Owl. <laughs> yeah, it lays everything down for you and the food on a plate and a drink if you want it. Yeah! Alright, so the Switch Star was also in that little Wiggler red coin room thing. Which means we should be going for 100 coins along with this star. I swear these things each gave you blue coins in the original. Oops. Yeah, the big Goombas do if you ground pound them, but I really thought these ones did also. Hm, weird. But yeah, the big Goombas, it's only if you ground pound them. Okay, oh jeez, these are so like... Oh, but in this one you can just stomp them. Hang on. You can just do this in this one, and it gives you the coins. Oh, but those ones flew off the edge. Well, all I'm really interested in this is kicking that guy's ass, so there we go. I'm happy with that. 
Oh, are you serious? What? You, we just run around on the ground like this? Now it's regular island. <laughs> it's not tiny or huge. You gotta be careful with the ground pound because sometimes the Goombas, when they do that little hop when they see you, they hop up into your feet and die for a regular coin. Okay, so there are 26 coins in that, like, little wiggler area. What? I- oh, man, the way that the enemies run away from you and, like, run up walls can be frustrating, as we saw earlier. ARE YOU SERIOUS?! Oh, that coin. The spinies sure look better in this one. <sighs> Don't get a bad camera when you kill Lakitu. Was that a thing in the original? I don't know if I ever noticed. <laughs> Shy guys are too hard for me to beat in this one. That's crazy talk, Ilias. Oh no, my DS is blinking red at me. Alright, so this puts us at enough to get the rest of the coins from the little wiggler area. I need to grab the charger real quick. Has the game volume been super quiet the whole time? <clears throat> Alright. So yeah, let's just go in the Wiggler area. Okay, that's good. Oop. Oh, 
Oh yeah, we are on the charger now. All right, quick, deliberate jumps. Shouldn't have jumped that down here though. Oh jeez. <gasps> I couldn't. Oh my God, the camera! You guys saw the. No oh, God. Do you guys see the fucking camera right there? Good God. <laughs> Pack your bongs, fellas. This might be a while. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, is this gonna give me coins out of this? Yeah? Okay. That's fine, I guess, then. We can kick this thing's ass again. Ugh! I mean, now we do have to wait for it to wear off, but, like, I do enjoy getting that fish back. Okay. another coin back there but whatever there's plenty of coins in the level overall what what I feel like this slope is more Difficult to walk on in this version. Then on N64. Like, I'm having trouble moving here. Okay. Okay, so we did that, and then I think last time I... No, no, I didn't. I was gonna say last time I became, I embiggened right there, but I don't think so. We came down here like that. We got these guys, blue skis. And 76 coins, I think, is exactly what we had last time when we were here.
<laughs> All right, there we go. Okay, my problem last time was I jumped down there instead of over here. Whew. Oh, I remember. All right. All right, there we go. So we got the hundred coins now. There's this star. Let's see what happens if we just like jump at it. We die. Okay, great. So I think for this we actually do want to go down this way. I'm not sure if I'm supposed to be using. Where am I? Oh gosh, I'm so not used to spawning small. That actually confused me greatly. It looks like you can just jump up there. I fucking head bonked on the top? You guys saw... That was a perfectly executed jump. As far as what would have made it up there. But I head bonked on the top. Would have been great if the Mario just stuck to it as a climbable ceiling. I wonder if it is a climbable ceiling. If I were holding down the jump button, I wonder if he would have grabbed it. Oh my gosh, it's after midnight. I um I got to wrap up once we once we get the last star in this level. So that way next time I play this game, we'll just have TikTok clock and rainbow ride. And then whatever other castle secret stars there are. Wait a second. I think we should do that first. Then we're gonna grab. Yeah, you're totally supposed to use this for the flop. Oh, wait, what? What's the point of that? Oh, we definitely have enough time to just grab it with this thing. Okay. I guess why would they put it here if this wasn't how you were supposed to do it? But I don't know. I just wanted to get it really fast before. Yeah. Uh, and that's it. So, yeah. Next time, 
We're gonna be... Well, I mean, first we can go up there real quick. So now, we've done everything on this floor. And we are just supposed to go, uh... Up here now. Well, I was hoping that up here, we're not going to be ending at 120, I don't think, because there's this guy. The 120th final star. I had it all planned out. All right, and there we go, everybody. So next time, we have TikTok Clock, we have Rainbow Ride, and the other thing to do. And then we just gotta find the other ones a one. I don't know, Ilias, maybe it's time I got back to Resident Evil 2 Remake after I very much didn't like a mechanic that was introduced. But maybe I'll get back to it and I'll enjoy it. Something like that. Anyway. Hang on, we gotta get it so that Mario doesn't fall asleep. There we go. Okay. So yeah. Thanks for watching, everybody. It was a good one. Mario 64 is always a wonderful time. I need to make myself some food, and then tomorrow I'll go grocery shopping. I think I have one thing that I can make right now. So, alright. There we go. So that being said, just taking, just taking a look. What Mario falls asleep, no matter what in this one. You guys, Mario, look at Mario. He actually goes to sleep on nothing in this one. This was not a thing in the N64 version. The N64 version actually doesn't do this. They made him not go to sleep if he can't sit down behind him. And then they didn't do that for the N64 one. That's silly. Okay, sorry. I got a little, I got a little worked up for a second. Uh, but White Mage Becky is playing Resident Evil 4. Oh my god, I'm gonna host Becky. She's playing Resident Evil 4. Have a good night, everybody. And, uh, yeah. Enjoy some White Mage Becky playing some Resident Evil 4. It's great. Bye! Oh, Mr. X, Ilias. I don't like Mr. X. I think he just makes the game, I, I think he just makes the game into Outlast, and I hate it.